Good morning there guys, Wayne from Lunas World. Welcome to episode 8 of our uh, helicopter tour around the Faroe Islands. It is pretty early in the morning here um, and today we're going to be doing two stops. We're going to be flying from, um, we are at, and again apologies about the pronunciations, um, but we are here at, let's see if I can click on this, it won't let me actually, um, Let me get, zoom in a bit more. Sukhavoy, oh yeah, we're at Sukhavoy. And today we're going to be flying to this tiny island here, Stora Duman, or Duman, and then onwards to our final helipad destination of Frobra here. And then from Frobra um, in episode 9 we'll be flying back to uh, Vega right here, and then episode 10 we'll be flying back to Sombra in uh, an aircraft of some description. I'm not quite sure what yet. Maybe uh, maybe a caravan, Cessna caravan. Um, but anyhow, let's uh, worry about that later. Let's get on with this particular flight. Um, position lights on. And sorry, get rid of this again. I'm gonna... Oop, I haven't uh, done this. Sorry, my bad. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Let's just... Uh, oops. I'm not sure that should be on... That should have been on idle. Sorry about that. Should have checked that before. Anyway, we'll go to full now. Uh, we'll go generator, reset and on. Avionics can come on. Anti-ice. Pito defog. Um, hydraulics. Heater can come on. And of course, flight instruments. And all good there. Right. Close that. Turn our Garmin 420 on, even though we're not using it. There we go. All right, so let's uh, get the show on the road. So first stop, Stora, which is uh, just a, a pretty short hop. Um, not far at all. Let's, uh, as ever, get a nice smooth lift off here. And I tell you what, flying helicopters is absolutely highly, highly addictive. Um, very difficult to start with. But once you get the hang of just basic control, and that's all I've got, um, if at all, um, it, it, it it's very fun. It's very, very addictive. And it, it gives you another perspective on flight. I thought I did that. Anyway... Um, yeah, so you can do stuff like this. Fly up mountains. <laughs> Skimming the, uh, the snow. That's very cool. It's just a really cool feeling. Um. Oops, sorry. We are going the wrong way, though. So, with that being said... Let's dive down this mountain that we just climbed up. And there is the island that we're heading towards, Dora. Is it? Hang on, no, I think it's... Let's double check the map. I've got a feeling it is... Further this way. I was going in the right direction. Anyway, never mind. There we go. That's where we're heading. Okay. 
Cool. Alrighty. So, I wonder... Um, I'm guessing the helipad is on the top of this island. There is another small island beyond it, which uh, doesn't have a helipad, but I'd probably be okay landing on that. Just for some fun, if you wanted to. I'm kind of sad that this is coming towards an end. I'm going to have to find some, some other scenery to... Uh, to fly in. I've noticed that Aerosoft also do the Antarctica uh, scenery, so maybe that could be cool for another helicopter series. Um, but don't worry, this isn't going to turn into a purely helicopter channel by any means. But I have got the bug, that is for sure. Um, let's just engage SAS for a sec. Just for laziness. Oh dear. So SAS then neutralizes the controls to start with. I think that's just what ha what just happened. It's kind of a bit weird. Okay, we're running low on fuel actually. I didn't check that. Oh, we're not that low. We're fine. We might we'll probably refuel here to be on the safe side. Looks like it's in the top left corner. All right, we'll disengage it. So yes, now. All right, just get ourselves retrimmed here do nicely. So, okay, it's not on the top then. I'm guessing it's down uh, towards the, s the shore. It must be down here somewhere. I can't quite see anything yet. Oh, goodness me. I've just seen it. Okay, it's not too bad, actually. And I think that is Vega off in the distance. Just double check. No, it's not. Ignore me. Vega's completely the other, the other way. Anyhow, let's uh, let's turn ourselves around. We'll go this way. A little bit choppy today. The sea, by the looks of it. I really don't like the default sea textures. They just look very patterny. Did try X Enviro again and still not not ideal really. A lot of uh, cloud around making it kind of very difficult to get good frames. And uh, you really do need a, f a smooth experience when flying a helicopter. I mean, you need a smooth experience in any flight sim experience. Oh dear, I just hit the trim button and it just went crazy. I'm not quite sure why. Now, this is the definition of remote, isn't it? Imagine living here. This is very, very remote. Let's just have a good look here. Yeah, incredibly remote. Alright, we are going to have to fly... Um, ...into the wind here, so... We'll ...do a little... ...kind of a little bit of manoeuvring around... ...at low level. Try not to crash into the house. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. All right. 
already. That'll do. Ooh, you, ooh, no, it won't. Quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. Come on, and just beware of the tail. Oh, crap. No, see, that was... Damn. Okay, let's have another attempt at that. That was not what I had in mind at all. Attempt number two. Ah, too heavy on the uh, collective there. Okay, all right, but not a bad effort. Not not bad. I'm fairly happy with that. That's pretty good. Not the most accurate, but definitely the most one of the most smooth landings I've done. Right, we do need to add some fuel in here, so we will just um, total fuel weight. Oh, we're fine actually. We'll give ourselves 30 minutes. So th let's go 40 minutes. Um, that should be fine. Just apply that. Okay, so um, the next stage then is to fly down to this one here, Frobra, um, and we'll finish off. Uh, we'll finish off there. So we're going pretty much a 180, and then uh, and then down for um, yeah, our final helicopter flight. Well, actually, it's not our final helicopter flight, but it will be uh, the final one. Um, landing on a new helipad, if that makes sense. And so I think we're going off in that direction. Let me just double check. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's do it. Whoa. Sick bags at the ready. <laughs> we'll keep this nice and low just to uh, we'll buzz this little boat out here. Oh, I can't believe this is the last one. I'm kind of disappointed. Not disappointed, but it's a shame. But anyway, we'll find some other, other places to. Uh, to fly. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely be flying around here in VR. Maybe I'll do a VR video um, around this area because it just is incredible. And again, it just doesn't come across right um, for you, like watching it on 2D screen. But um, you'll probably hear my excitement in my voice, which might add to the immersiveness. <laughs> but it really is fantastic. Um, and I'm seriously thinking about the Oculus Rift S at this current time. What kind of boat is this? Is this like a little... Is this a... That was just like a, t a ship, uh, a tanker. Pretty cool. Nicely done, actually. Oh, I never get bored of flying around here. It's incredible. All right, let's uh, get a bit of altitude. And 
and we will, uh, yeah, just go forward on the stick again. And we'll do a little bit of uh, ground speed here, just to speed things up a little bit. Very nice. Excellent. Right. I think we are pretty much there. And it's just off... Uh, there it is. And there's our fishing circles there. Again, another big, big town here. So when we take off in the next uh, video towards Vega, we'll um, we'll explore this a little bit more. But for now, we'll just get this thing on the ground. But it looks like there's a lot of a uh, lot of things to check out and see here. Can't actually see the helipad. Um, that's a bit worrying. Okay, let's fly in from the other this direction. I didn't see it. Be careful of that mast. There's the mast. Uh, is th yeah, that's kind of weird. We're in the right place. Yeah, we definitely are. Okay, well, let's do a flyby. I can see the windsock. Is that... Is that it? Oh, I can see it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Alright. That's a pretty substantial looking... Uh, heli... Area there. Complete with fuel. We didn't really have fuel at the last one. Fuel tank. But anyway, we've, we refueled. We've got enough to get back to Vega now, so that's fine. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and see if we can get this thing down on the ground. Not in the water. I'm, l I'm, I'm looking for a spectacularly good landing now. says. Maybe that's my famous last words. That's what I'm hoping for. We tell you the rudder pedals, whenever I touch them, they they jump. I'm gonna have to really look into that and see whether I can decrease the sensitivity a little bit. Oh dearie me, this is not very stable at all. Uh, danger of a tail strike here. We're all blowing up into the uh, fuel tank. That's not what we need. No, 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 no. Let's try that again. Definitely a bit too fierce there. No. With that, let me, uh, let me reset my head. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Whoa! What the hell happened then? What was that about? Goodness me. No idea. Right. I shouldn't have mentioned a spectacular landing, should I? There's clearly something going on here. Am I using too much rudder? Maybe. Alright, I'm having issues here. Alright, let's give this a go. Let me try and concentrate a bit more. Yeah, speed is too low. I don't know whether the wind... Where's the wind sock? Can I blame the wind? Yeah, I think the wind has picked up. It was kind of flying vertical there. I just caught a glimpse of it. Let's have another look. I think that's the issue, or part of it. Part of the issue. Probably not the whole story. Dearie me. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe not. I mean, it has picked up a bit. Definitely, but... Can't really use that as an excuse. I'm having serious issues here. Not quite sure why. being too fierce on the controls, perhaps. Ah! Tail strike. Definite tail strike there. Damn. Okay. Uh, I mean, we can watch the replay you want. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed. But yeah, I was having some serious issues there. Not quite sure what that was about. Probably just, I mean, just my crappy flying skills, I think. Definite tail strike. Yeah, not good. Not good. Anyway, the other, the good news is there's a ton of uh, cool stuff to explore here. Look at it. It's a nice town. A lot of great scenery. And I have to say, look at the clouds. It's looking great. Um, let's just enable X Enviro. And wow, look at that. Doesn't that look great? In fact, yeah, maybe that's a bit too much in terms of the brightness. We can turn that down, I think. Somewhere. Can we? Maybe not. Anyhow. It will definitely cloud over and that will give us some darkness. You can see the shadows here. It takes a while. Yeah, a little bit disappointed with that. Anyway, as that's uh, loading, let's, um, let's jump in. And we'll shut power down. But yeah, what a shame. Not a great... Uh, final landing, but we do have one more landing left to do at Vega, so we uh, am holding out for that to be our most spectacular landing of the entire um, trip. Open sky, oh, that's interesting. Oh, there we go. Uh, the weather's just uh, just morphed in there but yeah you can see very very poor visibility and um, it does look amazing though um, it's just not flyable unfortunately at this current uh, current stage there we go guys so hope you've enjoyed that flight I don't know what was going on there with my flying um, maybe it was the wind maybe it was me maybe it's a combination of, of everything but yeah not not uh, the ending that I particularly wanted um, but anyway we'll try again next time thanks for tuning in and as always, please like and subscribe. I hope you're enjoying this series. See you in the next and final helicopter flight of this uh, series. Take care, guys.